welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a set of press on nails and i'm gonna be using my little um airbrush machine that i just bought and opened well I actually ordered it off of amazon and i'll be adding it to my amazon storefront i went ahead and did one nail to test it out which looks like that and it turned out pretty okay so or it looks i mean it looks pretty good so i wanted to try it out before i actually came on here to show you guys how to use it um this was only like 50 or 60 some dollars on amazon uh the reviews were kind of like okay um but i didn't want to like spend no more than $50 honestly so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started of course the first thing that I'm gonna do is apply the press-ons on the stands and I can't measure my nails because I have on press-on nails or sorry I have on acrylic but I think I remember what size I am so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can move on to the next step Alrighty, so after I applied the nails on the stands, uh, I'm gonna go in and you guys see how it has like a little rough edge at the very um, free edge of the nail or the tip of the nail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna file at exactly a 90 degree angle just to file away that rough free edge and to get a really, really straight uh, free edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all of them and I am using my 100 100 nail file and then also i'm gonna go ahead and do that now but once you finish um filing the free edge which as you guys see it didn't take much at all i'm gonna go in with my buffer and i'm just gonna go in to remove the shine from the nail tip just because um i know like the very first time that i did a set of press on nails i didn't remove the shine and the gel polish literally peeled right off like that same day, honestly. Um, and then after I started doing this, I haven't had any problems. So same thing, we're just going in, following the free edge and then buffing the entire nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all of them. Alrighty, so as you can see, I removed the shine from all of the nails and then the free edge is really nice and straight. So then now we're gonna go in and do the same thing on this other hand or the other set. Alrighty, so after that, I'm just gonna go in and dust off the nails. And then I'm gonna go in with the polish. So for this set, I really wanna do this um, chocolate brown, which is in the color Walnut Brown by DND. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, two coats of this color on all of the nails. Alrighty, so we did the first coat and as you can see, we have a really, really good coverage. So I might just end up going with one coat and not doing the second coat. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cure these for 30 seconds. Alrighty, so since I had already opened my um, airbrush machine, I'm just gonna show you what I did. So you just take this little cap off and then I already have some in there, but what I did, I'm just gonna add some more, but I'm just using my gel polish. This is Perfect White by Madam Glam. And you just wanna put some in there. Just make it just like that. And then I'm gonna go in and add acetone. I'm just gonna fill it in because you want it to be like super, super, super watery. 
And then with a brush, I'm just gonna go in there and just mix it all together. But again, you want it to be like literally maybe one part polish, three part um, acetone, like that's how watery you want it to be. Just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. Okay. And then this um, airbrush, I didn't even look at the instructions or anything, but um, I think as I was trying to put it together, which literally you just take this off, like it just came in like two pieces, which was this, this, oh, and then this, you just screw it on. So it was super easy. You literally just screw this on and that on, and that's it. And then it has a power button right here. And then I know it had like two speeds. Uh, one was a little bit faster than the other one, of course. And then to make the um, polish come out, you literally just pull this back right here. So again, turn it on first and then pull this back. And I do have a paper towel right here that I kind of sprayed first to kind of make sure that it's coming out and then um you get to spraying so i'm gonna go ahead let's see Alrighty, so now i'm gonna go in with these stencils and my younger sister actually made these for me on her cricut machine so i'm just gonna go ahead and place this one down make sure it's on there really good so make sure that you pat it down so it's basically just like a sticker and then once it's on there really nice and, and flat um, like I said, we're just going to turn it on. So I just press this button and then I'm going to go ahead and just test it out. So I'm going to pull this back and it is spraying. So now, hold on, make sure you get your other nails out the way. And I'm just going to spray, hold on. I'm just going to spray it. Ooh, so the, the more you pull back, um, the more it's going to come out. So make sure you're careful. Okay. So I wanted it to obviously like be lighter on sunspots and then that in the middle was darker, which it's completely fine. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and dry it so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm just going to put it under the lamp for 30 seconds. And of course, since we did put gel polish in here with acetone, we still have to cure it. Um, but basically, we're just going to do the same thing on all of them. And like I said, these stencils are a little bit bigger, so I'm not going to be able to do as many. Um, on there but she also made me a heart another little um playboy playboy logo um the little louis vuitton ones we have a star um what else we have the actual like little louis vuitton um logo as well um a chanel one and i think those are all the ones i told her to make just for now um let's see i'm gonna put the heart on one of these Alrighty, so I went ahead and cured this one, and then that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in there because I just did the heart. But basically, that's all you do. Um, and then this one was actually, was the outline to this one, I think. So I'm going to use this one as well, which is the one that I did on the pink now that I first did. So I'm just going to take this one off. And same thing, just place it on there. So obviously this one is going to look a little bit different than the first one that I did on the other set. That's it. I took my gloves off just because they had a lot of dust on them and I was getting it all over the place. But same thing, so place it down. Turn it on. And also, the closer you get to the nail, the more uh, coverage you're going to get. And then the farther away you are from the nail, of course, you know, you're just going to, it's going to be a lighter um, 
look to it. So I just did that one. Okay, y'all. And then I also wanted to, well, I have to cure this one first. Hold on. Alrighty, so then I also have these like little decals that somebody sent me. Now it would basically be the same thing because I think these are vinyl too. So I was thinking, okay, so what if I cut one of these out and then use them as a stencil? I, I definitely think that it would work. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. Let's see. So, I mean, I could even just use the actual like little Louis Vuitton one. Let's see. Like, I know for a fact I can use just this. And then even if I wanted to use this as well, I could as a stencil. I think, maybe. Hold on. I think this is gonna work, y'all. So, just place them down. And then I also found these with the hearts on them. So I'm gonna use maybe the smaller hearts. And then, let's see what else. Okay, so I found some other little ones, y'all. I'm, I'm finding all type of stuff. So you don't necessarily have to go out and spend money on stencils because you could just use these little decals that you have and i mean i'm just testing it out i've never tried this i literally just started using my airbrush today so we're gonna see how this turns out So it's really important that you make sure that the decals are on there nice and flat. And then let's see. Okay, Alrighty, so just did that. So now we're gonna go ahead and cure that and then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I just got this one out. So see, that's what that one looks like. So not that bad. But the only thing you do wanna make sure is that you clean up really, really good because I did get dust on the nails from like my gloves. That's why I went ahead and took them off. Um, but since we are touching the nail, you do wanna make sure that you um, are making sure that there's no dust, that way you don't get it on the nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically just do the same thing. So just applying the decals, spraying them, and curing. And I could obviously go ahead and do them all at once, but I just been trying to show y'all and trying out different things. Um, so I'm now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish all of them.
Alrighty, y'all, so right here, um, as you can see, it was a little bit messy, so I went ahead and wiped that polish off, and then it was some polish that had already cured, so I went in and just gently buffed it off, and then wiped it off with an alcohol wipe, and then before I get started on that one, we're going to go ahead and apply the top coat on the first set, and I'm using the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat, and then after that, we're going to move on to the next set, but y'all, they look so good, and I just absolutely love that brown color and here i'm just adding a little bit more polish because i feel like it was a little bit too watery um so i went in added a little bit more polish shook it back up with my brush and then closed it back up and then we're gonna do this exact same thing on this other hand and of course you can alternate your little stencils um and just place them wherever you want and then also you can definitely reuse them so that's what you see me doing is i take them off one nail and then put them on the other hand um and whatever you just need to do Alrighty, so once I finished doing all of the nails, I still had a little bit of paint in my airbrush. So I just went ahead and sprayed all of that out on my paper towel. And then I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to clean this, but like I said, I ended up just spraying everything out of it. And then I opened it back up and it was still just a tiny bit left in there. So I poured it out into the paper towel. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and kind of clean the inside of it. And then I'm going to go in and add a little bit more of, of the acetone, just pure acetone into the little jar. And then I'm just going to spray that out. And I feel like that would be an okay way to clean it. If you know of a good way to clean it, just let me know. Um, like I said, I, this was my very first time ever even owning an airbrush so I'm not exactly sure if that's how you're supposed to do it but I felt like I mean I don't know I feel like this would get the job done so I just went ahead and sprayed it out and then after that I'm just gonna wipe the outside of it off and then I'm gonna put it up and then I also forgot to mention that it did come with a little charger um, so I will be sure to leave the link down below to the airbrush um, it's gonna be added to my Amazon storefront Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out pretty good for my very first time. Um, it was a little messy, so I do want to warn y'all about that. But other than that, it definitely worked out. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you are notified every time that I post. Thank you.